Hello everyone, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm David Goodman. And over there we have John Lindowski. How are you doing, John? Hey, pretty good. Well, I hope we're both doing better than yesterday. Yesterday was kind of tough. Um, to, uh, today, the uh, Ab Admirals took on the Grand Rapids Griffins. This is their second game at home um, this season so far. Uh, the Griffins are one and two. This is actually the third game at home. They've already played three games at home. This is our second road game of the season. Um, as we took uh, Chicago uh, to a little bit of an educational class. Um, but before we get into all that, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Walker 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeywalkermilwaukee.com. Um, so as I was saying, the uh, Admirals took on the Griffins. I'm going to uh, turn it over to our uh, my co-host here to mm -hmm. allow him to read the stat line for you guys. All right, so shots on goal tonight. Uh, in the first period, Milwaukee outshot Grand Rapids 12-6. to In the second period, Grand Rapids outshot Milwaukee 6-2. to In the third period, Grand Rapids outshot Milwaukee 13-9 to for a total of 25-23 to Grand Rapids outshoots Milwaukee. Now, on the power play, Milwaukee went 0 for 2 with 6 minutes and 3 infractions, and Grand Rapids went 0 for 3 with 4 minutes and 2 infractions. Um, before we get into that, the Admirals in the first period, all the way up to the first period, and about 5 minutes, 36 seconds into the second, had only had one penalty all season. Even though I know it was only a game and a half. By right. That. But... Um, scoring in the first was Luca Benjelisha with his first pro goal of a big, very, very nice wrist shot on the far side. Um, sent up the boards by John Len Leonard Leonard and Roland McEwen. Uh, Leonard's third assist already. Um, the and then in the second, the AHL Player of the Week Austin Sarnak continues. With his fourth goal of the season already, with an assist from Matt Luff, his second, and Tanner Hirose, his third. Oh, um, if those, that line holds up all season, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. All right. Um, then Tanner Hirose scores about four minutes, uh, 45 seconds later, with an assist from Matt Luff, his third. Then Tommy Novak gets on the us back tied with an assist from Kevin Graval. And um, Cole Schneider. Cole Schneider scores his 500 AHL point. Um. Oh boy. Uh, then at the 10:30 mark, uh, Kirill. Oh God, I can't remember how to pronounce this. It's I believe it is Truchiev, Truchiev, Truchiev. Uh, with an assist from Cedric Larue, or Cedric Larue. LaCroix and uh Stephen Camper. Um in net for the Admirals making his AHL slash North American debut as far as game time. I'm sorry that we're tired. Uh last night was a late one for us. So if we seem a little tired or frustrated, um lack of sleep is a thing. Uh he's got <laughs> 22 of 25. Only thing I saw is the one that beat him over the blocker. Uh, he should have had that blocker a little high and defended a little better, but kind yeah. of going down is a lot better than the speed going up. So all I gotta say that is that is there. Um, uh, Sebastian Cosa was on man in the pipes for Grand Rapids, and he stopped twenty one to twenty three. Um, uh, he looked solid, but the goals he gave up were. Not as good as what you saw. Your referees were Justin Key and Chief for the, Sean Fernandez. Linesman is Justin Cornell and Christopher Williams. Um, last season, the Admirals were seven and five against Grand Rapids, where Grand Rapids was five, six, and one. Uh, over the last five seasons, uh, Milwaukee is 15, 13, 0 oh, and 2. Uh, Grand Rapids is 15, 13, 1 and 2, 1 and uh, 1. And one. 
Uh, the Emeralds are back on Saturday uh, with our home opener. Me and John will be there. So if you see us, please say hello. We do enjoy that a little bit. Um, however, if it looks like I have headphones in my ears, then I won't hear you. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, just being honest with that one. Um, in other news, uh, please check out yesterday's Predator video. As I tried to upload it to Facebook, it did not want to work. So um, it is on our YouTube page. Um, where we are also uploading all our videos from this season, um, minus the ones that we are doing from my house, which will be a Saturday video. Um, that video will also be split into two uh, on the basis that is two separate games, two separate brandings. Um, other than that, uh. Tomorrow, the Preds play Columbus in Columbus, so we're back on the road. Uh, that game's at 6 o'clock Central Time, 7 o'clock Eastern. Um, John, just to be out of curiosity, what do you want to see out of that game for the Preds? I mean, I know what we saw out of the Admirals today. There's still some, you want to clean up the passing this time of the year. It's still early, but I mean, what the do you want from the Preds. I would say for the Preds that I would like to see the chemistry start to click a little more. Yeah, because that top line, uh, Granlin, Forsberg, and Duchesne really haven't done much. Right. And that second line, there's no consistency. It's either Sherwood or it's Tolvin. And you got to make up your mind here. If you're going to put, if you're not going to play Tolvin, Sherwood out there with, with them, you should play Sherwood with Glass. At least then, you know, there's that capability right you know and, and Sanford can play on either side and Smith can play on either side um it's just one of those situations um as far as what I saw from tonight and if I wanted to give any statistical breakdown or any kind of breakdown of, of things um one of the big ones was uh Willsby and uh Stassi pinching every time um, it burned them today, and uh, also the uh, I think it was Graval who, yeah, Graval who pinched on the third goal, and it burned us bad. Uh, Graval had five shots in the game, um, but the minus twos were Spencer Stansny, Adam Wilsby, Igor Afanasi, and Mark Jankowski for the Grand Rapids Griffins. Uh, minus two for Wyatt New Power. Um, as I said, we will be back then. Uh, your three stars of today's game were Luca Evangelista with a goal, Tanner Hiroshi with a goal and an assist, and Sebastian Kosha with 21 saves and 23 shots. Um, around the league, uh, Laval beat Springfield 2 to nothing. Uh, Rochester beat Be Bellevue 4-3, three, to three, and Bakersfield and um, the Henderson Silver Knights are yet to be underway. The AHL will not be back or, or will be back underway as of Friday. So tomorrow is an off day for the AHL. Um, so that's all I really got for you. Um, uh, the other thing um, is uh, former Milwaukee Admiral Matt Luff will be wearing number nine for the Griffins this year as he already has two assists in this game. Uh, previously before that, he has two goals, three assists, five points, and three games played. Um, how long him and that line stay in the AHL is unknown. Uh, there will be moves made within the next, I'd say, 24 hours. Transaction wise, speaking of transactions, just a little quick update. I know we did it before just before our show, but um, uh, the Admirals and Preds sent down uh, Luke Prokop and the uh, Xavier Bouchard to Norfolk of the ECHL. Um, those are some ECHL transactions. Um, we will be doing also check out our YouTube page on Saturday. Um, 
the uh, we will also be doing in the system, which is our first breakdown of the year for players not playing in the NHL or AHL. Um, one of our slight enjoyments of that is knowing what's coming our way gives us a little bit of help for those of you that don't watch our Admirals games. Um, that gives you guys a little bit on that one as well. Um, from the looks of it, um, it should be a very good show. Um, uh, on Saturday, uh, tomorrow, we have, um, like I said, a Preds game, and then we have a day off for us. Um, a day off for us is not really ever a day off. <laughs> Um, but uh, it, it's looking very, very promising amongst a few things. Um, as far as some of the stuff I've seen so far, um, <laughs> um, other than that, I have I don't have a whole lot for you. Um, all I know is just keep an eye out for us. Uh, we have some more stuff coming your way. I hope you guys enjoyed our uh, um, our video and uh, our previous videos. Um, and please check out our YouTube page and subscribe. Uh, we are working very hard to get that back going as well. So please go over there and check it out. Um, we will also be doing a breakdown of whenever the Preds Reverse Retro is uh, officially announced. I saw the leak today. So for those of you that saw the leak, you know, you know we all know leaks are never 100% official, but that's where we're at. Also, please check out this page, uh, TNT Racing, as um, they are, we are a sponsor of their racing team. Um, they are preparing for a long off season. Their off season starts kind of like ours, where it's off season's over, time to get ready for next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so trust me, if anybody understands, it's those guys, and they've been great to us. Uh, thank you to Marty and Brandon and all them. Um, you know, they, they, they do a great job of, of doing us well as far as our representation. And, um, I, they actually watch our shows and they don't know a whole lot about hockey. So I, I just, you know, I can't thank them enough for everything they've done to help this podcast. I also would like to thank my family for decorating my set. Um, my wife and eight year old decorated the set. Normally I got the leaf lights on, but I thought to go something a little different, maybe try and change the mojo after taking back to back at, to back. Uh, you know, we haven't won the Admirals won in Chicago, but taking back to back losses on a night, I'm just gonna do something a little different and see how it goes. Um, so if if tomorrow doesn't change, you'll see the lights back on. If not, um, as you can see, my house is all spooked out. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we will uh, see you guys tomorrow.